Welcome back. You're watching Masha Prime. My name is Rida Chibet Kering. And now let me usher in our education segment. And today we focus on St. Mary's Yala. St. Mary's Yala has consistently demonstrated its commitment to fostering a well rounded development of its students. Makanda, principal St. Mary's School Yala. Actually, I joined this school from St. Anthony's Boys Kutale on 31st January 2023. I want to say that uh, generally I was received so well by all stakeholders, including all critical stakeholders who are our students. I told them all along that my guiding principles have been four since I started teaching and being a, a principal for the last 18 years. I've been a curriculum, co-curriculum, infrastructure and population. But I want to add that St. Mary's Yala has only two objectives. Basically, infrastructure is fairly good and population is already there because we have 2,556 boys. The school offers a wide range of co-curricular activities, allowing students to explore their interests and talents beyond the walls of the classroom. Indeed, the students of St. Mary's Yala have shown bright in these endeavors. Their passion and commitment have yielded remarkable results, with the school consistently winning accolades at various inter-school competitions and tournaments. So we are not after the population yet, no. we are just after curriculum and co-curriculum. And we started well, because co-curriculum, most of our teams went beyond county. And you are aware, rugby went up to East Africa, rugby sevens, for the first time. Our football went to the regional for the first time since uh, 1998. Our rugby 15 and the hockey went to the regionals. And that to us was a good start. The success of the co-curricular domain is only revealed by the impressive career development programs at St. Mary's Yala. The school offers a comprehensive guidance and mentorship to help students identify their interest and pursue promising careers. In academics, which is now we are fo fo focusing on, as we build the future in co-curriculum, uh, we want to, we are targeting 8.5. Because our school got 7.6 last year, we want to build on that way forward. We have made arrangements, and I think the achievable objective was just 0.9 in improvement of 0.9, which I think we can do. It is evident that St. Mary's Yala has truly created an environment that fosters both co curricular and career excellence. The students here are not only academically accomplished, but also possess a wealth of experiences, skills, and enriched perspectives that will undoubtedly contribute to their future success. In the next two, three years, these schools will be flying with eagles in both academics and co curriculum. We want to be there in the national stage. Of course, we are there in games, but we want to be there academically. We are just about a really performing at, at, at the moment. Uh, we want to be up there. Well, this is the old, one of the oldest schools in this country. Founded in 1927 by the missionaries. It should not be flying, walking with chicken. With the coming of the senior principal, Mr. Makanda, as the school head has ignited the rise of the school academic index, this has been seen in strategies in achieving the school target. Hit the ground running, had various meetings, had serious consultations with my predecessor, who actually is my senior. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, we came up with a work plan. For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, I'm Redach Betkering.